My name's Nigel and uh, I'm one of the leaders at uh, One Church. I'm just here at Barham Crematorium, just taken the funeral for um, for Daphne. Many of you remember Daphne. Um, when we were meeting in the building, she would be sitting at the front on the right-hand side near um, Blossom, Maxine and, and Glad. Um, so uh, we're just here to like give thanks for uh, Daphne's life. And if I could just ask you just to remember her uh, next of kin, her son, Andrew. Let's pray for Andrew and the family and Andrew's half-brother, Paul, and uh, the family, Katrina, Suzanne and Darren. When people die, sometimes we use the phrase um, having gone to glory. And glory is a, a word that we use often, but I'm not really sure if we know too much about what it means. But glory speaks something about the nature and the character of God, something about his eternity and something of the weight of his presence. There's examples in the Old Testament when uh, the glory of God is so great that servants couldn't stand up. They couldn't work just because it just like came upon them, uh, just luminous and atomic in its power as it came across them. In Jesus's life, there are times when we see that glory. It's almost like God just creates a gap and opens up heaven for us to see it. Quite often it's, it's cloaked. Um, uh, John uh, says in the 14th verse of the first chapter of his gospel, he says um, of Jesus, he said, uh, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we saw his glory, the glory of the one and only son who came from the father, full of grace and truth. But at Jesus's baptism, his birth and his resurrection and on the Mount of Transfiguration, we see just this weight of Jesus's glory shining through this pure brightness and tremendousness of the Lord. And today we've just had a service which is giving thanks for Daphne's life, of how she gave her heart to Jesus. And now she knows the fullness of her salvation to come into God's presence and to see Jesus's glory in completeness. There's a phrase that um, Moses says when he's speaking to his brother Aaron, and he says, Aaron, in the morning, you will see the Lord's glory. And the experience of Daphne is now to be in God's presence. So thank you. Let's remember to pray for the family and just wanted you to know about this. Bless you. Bye bye.